Hey, my name is Adia Depitan, uh, Paralympic athlete, TV presenter, travel journalist, um, and recently children's book author. Published TV. I was born for TV. <laughs> no, I don't know. It was just real luck. It wasn't something that I was looking to do. I was. Um, my aim was always to be a, a, an athlete, an elite athlete, to to to, to win medals and, and and stuff like that. But then I got contacted by a friend of mine who said he knows some guys who works for a cable channel and they want to film uh, or make a film about a wheelchair basketball player, someone who plays for Great Britain. Um, and he said, you should do it. At the time I wasn't playing for Great Britain, but he said, my mate said to me, no one knows anything about wheelchair basketball. This was in the nineties. He said, just tell them you play for Great Britain, you'll be all right. And I was like, I don't know. And then they said they'd offer me um, 200 quid for doing this interview. I was like, geez, I need the money. So I said, yeah, uh, I'm GB captain. You know, I've played for Great Britain for, you know, 10 years and they came and filmed me. And um, I know he spent like a, a day with me. And at the end of it, he said, you know what? You come across really well. You should do more stuff. And that was it. Yeah, you know, I was just like, I think these guys, I think they liked me because I was different. I wasn't the um, run of the mill TV presenter and they were excited about it. And so, yeah, I just fell into it. Wow, yeah. the best adventure that I've been on. I've been on so many adventures. Um, yeah, I haven't even had time to really sit down and absorb all of the adventures that I've been on to just try and to get there. It, it's hard to choose one. I mean, it's like that, that. That's almost like saying, you know, which one of your kids or your babies do you love more? Um, I suppose the most epic, uh, apart from the Africa series, which I made last year, but way back in 2005, I took part in a documentary series called Beyond Boundaries, and they sent 11 of us, all with different disabilities, to Nicaragua in Central America, and we had to cross from one side to the other through pretty much virgin rainforest, chopping our way through. Um, and the most epic part of it is when I had to crawl pretty much on my hands and knees up a 5,000 foot live volcano. Um, and knowing that if I made a wrong move, if I slipped, I would just keep tumbling down 5,000 feet into the ocean. Uh, and plus the surface of the volcano was boiling hot because it was still, um, it, it was live. So yeah, that was epic. I mean, it's not something you expect from a boy from Plasto, is it? I advise my younger self. It's always one of those like real surreal questions where you're just trying to, trying to think. I, I, I think, um, Just stay open-minded. Um, keep being excited about life. Uh, I, I, I got asked a question on Insta the other day, you know, why are you so positive? And I think it's because I have the feeling that every day has the possibility to be better than the day before. And so when you have that feeling, you're constantly excited. And if you're excited and positive, it brings positive vibes to you. So I just, I would have just said, you know, to younger Addy, stay positive, um, keep loving life and just be open-minded. I think one of the most important things, um, and it's something that I've had to deal with, having a disability and also um, being black, uh, you, is, is being judged. And I think it's the thing that we all hate the most where people make assumptions and they judge you before they know you yeah you know, and, and I think to to make people feel better about themselves I always go when I meet someone with an open mind you know I, I I don't make assumptions about who they are what they're what what they're about what they like whether I like them or not first thing that I want to know is uh, what's your name how you doing have a chat you know, get to know the person. Uh, I think that's the most important thing. We all hate for people to make assumptions about us before they know us. So no judgment, man, no judgment, just pure love.
It's a great question. I, I, I kind of take inspiration from everywhere. Um, and uh, a friend of mine, actually, a wheelchair basketball player, a guy called Steve Kane, he's assistant coach for the GB national team now. Um, he, he, he once told me, and he told me about sport, he said, actually, just nick ideas from everywhere, you know, uh, and, and, and it, he, he said, don't be snobbish about it just because it's from another sport or maybe a sport that we don't um, rate as much as ours doesn't mean there isn't something in there that you can learn. So for me, I just look at everyone. Everyone is an inspiration and everyone is a possible inspiration for me. Uh, so there's no particular people. Um, I'd say Steve in the early days, but also my parents as well, but generally everyone. Because also, you know, when you're taking stuff from people, you know, you take stuff from people just um, once, I mean, that's stealing. But if you're taking stuff from people all the time, taking ideas, then that's research, baby. Research. Where do I want to be in 10 years? Just a little one. Where do I want to be in 10 years? Oh man, I, I, I just want to be, I want to be happy. Maybe on a, on a lovely island with, um, with, with, with sunshine, good food, you know, a family. But also I want to know that, you know, we're living in a world where people are caring more about the world and each other and the climate. I mean, I know it sounds all a little bit soppy, but we've got to do it, man. If we don't, nobody else is. And, you know, the, this world, when if we don't take care of the world and, and climate change starts having that drastic impact, it's going to impact, it's going to affect all of us. So I want to live in a place where more people love the world and love where we're about. Peace on earth, baby! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my name is Adia Depitan. And this is me speaking to you guys at Hey Girl magazine. Hey dude, hey girl.